Hi, welcome to another Outlook 2016 tutorial. This time we're going to have a look at conditional formatting. So what do I mean by that? Well, you know when you get your email in and say if it's from a certain person, you want the email colored in red or in purple or in blue or, well, it's already in blue, but whatever. So I've got this on the screen here. So let's have a quick look and see what we need to do. So I've got Outlook available. I'm in my mail and my e e inbox. I'm just going to click on view at the top. So if you go to and click on view at the top of the screen there, and then we're going to click on view settings. So you can see we have view settings, give it a click. And then from this box that appears here, what we're just going to do is we're going to click on conditional formatting. So there's very other various rules already applied with conditional formatting that you may uh, realize or may not realize. If you just swap back to, we just swap back to the machine here, we can have a look and see unread messages are coming up with a blue font. Uh, if I said expired emails comes up with a crossed out. So we're just going to add one new one in here. So if we click on the add button, just there, click on add, and then we're going to type in the name of the rule. So everything that's pink panther. So I'm going to type in pink panther. I've got some emails from, we're going to call it the pink panther uh, um, format. So that's the name of the actual conditional formatting rule. We now need to change the font to pink. So I'm just going to click on font here. And I'm just going to change the font into a, well, let's have a look, a pink color. I don't think I've got fu a pink. If I just scroll back, I've got fuchsia. So that'll be close enough. So it's, it's a fuchsia there. That's great. I'm going to make it bold as well, just to make it stand out. That's good. So I then click on the OK button here. And then the last thing I just need to do is set a condition. If I don't click on this button and set a condition, then it's pretty useless. So we've got to make sure I do that. So let's do that. So if we click on a condition and here's the conditions just here. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for from a per certain person. So I'm going to click on the from box and then to search for pink and there's pink panther there. I'm just going to press enter once on the keyboard to bring the box down, press enter again. And then I've added pink panther to the search box. That's fantastic. I'm going to click on OK. That's really good. Uh, and now I'm going to click on OK again. OK, one more time. And if I zoom back so you can see everything, you can notice that all of the pink panther emails are pink. That's great. So you may have noticed from the conditional formatting uh, box, there's many other conditions that you can look for and you condition format uh, for as well. So if I click on view settings again, go back to conditional formatting, uh, what I'm just going to do is if I just um, go back to the Pink Panther rule, we could edit this one, go to condition. So we could check to see if it's sent to a certain person. Maybe so many persons included in that two box or where I am. And you can decide whether I'm the only person on uh, the two line or on the two line with other people or on the CC line with other people. I can look for a particular subject. I can look for something in the message body or frequent other used fields as well. I can go to more choices. I can go to advanced as well, where I can look for particular fields as well. So this is just a start with conditional formatting, but you can take this a lot further. So hope that really helps. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube or if not, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up as well on whatever social media outlet you're watching this on. Thank you so much for watching.